Today is demo day. We're at a new web series client's house and we're getting this entire kitchen. This kitchen is so 90s. You can tell from the tiled countertops, so we're giving it a little bit more function, but a huge facelift. We were really concerned when we were taking out the island if the hardwood floors were going to continue underneath, and we're so excited that they do. One of the biggest changes you'll see besides the layout is the soffit that we're removing so the ceilings will actually look higher. I'm so excited to see this kitchen come together and after it's got its new facelift it will have all new appliances and all new plumbing fixtures from Kohler. The plumbing and appliances have been installed and also my braces. Uh, those should be off in a couple of weeks, but here we are. So we're installing all the styling and getting it ready um, for the big reveal. So when we start designing a kitchen, we often, I'd say we start with the color palette. And if you want a classic light and airy kitchen, but you don't want to go with the all white kitchen look, go with a really soft neutral tone. We went with this really light warm gray on the cabinetry, stuck with a light countertop and backsplash, and you still get that classic look, but it still feels a little different than what you see all the time. So we stuck with a classic, beautiful polished nickel finish on this Kohler bridge faucet. It has these really great lever handles. And then a big apron front Kohler farmhouse sink. Never go wrong with a farmhouse sink. And then we balanced it out. We did brass hardware and natural wood shelves to give it a little bit of warmth and detail. Sometimes clients set us off in a direction or kind of set some parameters to something that they have their heart set on. Our client said she did not want this subway tile that you see every day, but she wanted a white backsplash. So um, we set to work. Our team found this really beautiful um, subway tile that has this cool like bevel detail on it. You can see it just adds a really interesting dimension to the backsplash and I love how that turned out. The transformation to this kitchen it was pretty dramatic. Um, we have taken it to a much higher end place by making a few big design decisions like taking the cabinets all the way to the ceiling. There's a really cool leaded glass detail in the cabinetry. We added this Kohler pot filler that, I mean, once you have a pot filler in a kitchen, you'll never want to go back. Um, we did a built-in refrigerator. There's high-end appliances. And then probably the most dramatic of all is we we changed this angular island to be more rectangular and then added really stunning pendant lights above. So the big debate in the kitchen was do we keep seating at the island or do we add more storage? It ended up that we, we went with the storage because they have seating right off of the kitchen. While designing the cabinets in the kitchen, we wanted to create a focal point, so we brought in the hood and kept two symmetrical cabinets on each side, but balanced it out with natural wood shelves in the corner. Something unique about these shelves is that we had them wrap around so that when you're looking at the sink, you also get the open shelves on the side. A little planter by the sink is nice when you have fresh flowers to fill it with. If not, it's a good place to store your scrubber. We just um, got these new canisters in the shop and they're just a pretty place to add storage to your open shelving. And um, a basket is a nice element and breaks up all the kitcheny items. Don't forget that you can get the lighting, the runner, and all the accessories at Miggy Co. 
So I'm here with Nanette in her brand new kitchen. Uh, it's not a complete surprise because she's been living here through the remodel, um, but we've done the fresh styling and it's still pretty, pretty fresh and new. Tell me about your very favorite thing in your new kitchen. Okay, the thing that jumps out the most to me is the tile. I love the color of the cabinets and the kitchen all together. It's very light and very open. I could go on and on. I love Maybe. the appliances. Oh, yeah. Um, when we finally got them installed, I about did a cartwheel through the kitchen because <laughs> I was so excited to use them. And well, good. Right, well, thanks so much. Yes. This has been awesome. Thanks so on. much for trusting us to design your kitchen, and I am so excited for you guys. I think this kitchen proves that you don't have to add square footage to be able to get a really high-end look after your remodel. We just were thoughtful about the selections and how we laid everything out and the result is beautiful. So make sure you follow along for more home tours and design tips.